in this discussion you can see related field is brief in case you missed previous video related many to many field it's basic widgets plus supported attribute link is given in description so let's discuss first basic concept like how like Odoo will work related field I'm giving you one simple example based on that you can also do from your side and this is very simple data type or you can say field like you can see this is a parent class as a school name and this is a list of students so here you can see this xyz here also you can see this is a list of registered for school students xyz but the thing is if you want to use student profile some related relational fields from school field so it is also possible let's say in the student model if you want to display this first school this virtual class as a boolean data type which is true or false here like it is like something like that student is working as a virtual class going to school now going to pycharm editor and this is our student model now we are going to add one related data type is virtual school equal to fields dot boolean we used here boolean because if you are going to here in school profile this virtual class is supported as a boolean data type going to editor now simply what we have to do is related in double quote we have to use that many to one field name school underscore id and then after we don't like we don't know about that field name so simply we have to go to that model we have to find that model and you can see here this is a field name and simply we have to copy this one and paste here one more attribute simply we can usually use as a string this is a labeling purpose from form view side as well as list view copy this one this field name going to xml side and right now we are just using a list view we already gave many examples in form view side now we are adding here one field name equal to is virtual school and tag is over now we just simply upgrade the module going to list view you can see here right now we having only two columns one is a name and another one is a school name but once i will refresh the page you can see here three columns visible you can see the effect like first school having a checkbox as a true so each first school having this checkbox is a true if i'm going to uncheck and again i will refresh the page you can see here that check is unchecked the checkbox is that checked value is unchecked now again going to here and not here we having a second school so this is a second school and we are just check here refresh the patch you can see we already have only one school second school so only one checkbox is visible now like this way you can also add more um, more than one relational field one more thing we need to understand is as you know like all the fields serve into database but in relational field you can see this is underscore virtual underscore school Odoo will not create this field again going to terminal and we already having this first tab and select star from school underscore student
so you can see here id name as well as school id is visible but you can't see here this field name is virtual school is not visible here but if you want to add this field into database then simply you have to use store equal to true attribute this attribute will help to create one is virtual school as a colon name and data type is boolean so let's inject this colon into that data uh, into that table So now, now you can see here is virtual school. If I'm going to here and refresh the page, you can see this checkbox is true. We just need to use that ID name. Where ID equal to ID in one and four. So you can see for this ID like ABC U student having a true. Once I will go to this profile, the school profile, and uncheck this one, and I'm going to here the same one. Again, I'm going to list view. You can see in list view it's unchecked, and if I'm going to verify the same from back and side so you can see here it's a false so whenever you are changing from the parent model it will directly impact to that sub like related field so you don't need to worry about overriding the extended model so like this way you can also add not only boolean one you can also add all data types let me create one more one more relational field from school so you will have a better idea like address I'm going to here school address equal to fields dot first thing is we need to double check okay this school address what we are using here the same one the data type it should be a same like you can see here this address and type is a text so we just have to copy this one and paste here that's it and now we have to use is related equal to yeah if you if you will forgot this one related attribute then like Odoo will create automatically as a simple data type simple fill so here we have to use a school underscore id dot address if user will by mistakenly like using any other field name which is not exist in student profile then Odoo will raise the error i am just trying to upgrade the module yes before upgrade the module let me create uh, let me add inform view and upgrade the module that's it again going to browser refresh the page if i'm going to here address is blank because here in relational field you can also say address is blank i'm going to here and type something like this yes address click to sell and going to here and refresh the page you can see it's not visible here because this first school don't have the address but you can see the second school we changed in second school so again we are going to list view if I'm going to here you can see this is school address and uh, yeah one more thing is this field is read only 
so user can't edit anything like relational field always be a read only if i'm changing from first school you can see that relational field directly impact if i'm going to third school like this address won't be visible because third school also don't have address for double check you can see also here second school yes it's having so it will display like this the same content display like this way okay so i hope you understood the basic information about relational field you can also add any any model again going to pycharm and edit editor we can also add one more attribute is help which which will work as a tool tip we don't need to upgrade the module only restart the service going here and refresh the page if i'm going here you can see this is school address but in your mind you having some question like if i'm changing here as a hair tool i'm adding as a tooltip here so it will impact here or not no it won't be impact in parent model you can see here now here we are overriding some attributes in xml side first of all we will change that string name you can see here it's a address now we are changing as a school address one more thing is school underscore address this colon will not add into database you can say you can't find here address so if you want to add permanently into table that you have to use store equal to true as we applied in this boolean data type so right now we are not using that one in this field we are just overriding this on the label name and we need to upgrade the module and once the upgrade complete you can see this address will become as a school address The purpose of this two screen is like you can easily understand while I'm adding anything and uh, while I'm changing anything from parent model it will immediately impact here so you can see here the school address is renamed now we can also it is also possible like we can also invisible this label name using no label equal to one by default it's a false false means zero and one means true again going to here and refresh the page you can see here this is school address but uh, no label name found so like this way you can also add based on your requirement so i hope you understood the basic concept of relational field and its supported attribute in case you having any doubt please comment below and uh, see you in next video